Uh, that's a tough question. I mean, TNA had some incredible runs in the past. Uh, they're, they're up and running. You know, they're, they're doing good. They're not doing great. Uh, AEW is actually doing pretty damn good. Um, you know, their ratings are up and they've, they've done, had done an excellent job at, uh, uh, um, you know, giving WLB a run for their money. Uh, and, and I think the competition is really good. Um, I'm not so sure that AEW is right up there with WWE yet, but someday they could be. And I think they've done an incredible job. Comparing them to Impact Wrestling, um, Impact Wrestling, I would say, is just a little bit smaller of promotion. Uh, AEW seems to be more big time at this particular point. But, you know, Impact could make a big comeback again and, and be right in that picture again. In what ways do you think pro wrestling has maybe improved the most since you stepped away from full-time competition? In what ways do you think it's maybe receded or a lesson that maybe it's forgotten? Well, I think they're better athletes today. I think the training is a lot better. You know, you have CrossFit, and core training, stuff like that, explosive training. Uh, but I would say the other thing, I, I totally forgot what I was going to say here. <laughs> oh, I've been there a million times. I've been uh, there during the this interview, Kurt. What was the question? Um, in what ways it's improved and in what ways maybe it's receded? It's receded because a lot of these athletes now just do a bunch of spots. Uh, nothing really makes sense. Uh, it's more of a spot fest. They go out there and they do these impressive things, double flips over the top rope onto the floor. Uh, you know, things that... Um, that don't tell a story, you know, psychology is the most important thing in wrestling. And you, you want to have great psychology and a good storyline. A good story is babyface versus heel. The babyface shines on the heel, the heel sells, heel cheats, gets the babyface down, gets heat on the heel, or gets the heel gets heat on the babyface. The babyface makes a big comeback. You have the false finishes and then the finish. So if you have that certain psychology in wrestling, you're going to get it right every time as long as you do that. But a lot of these matches now, there's no baby and no heel. It's just two athletes going at it. And I think that's where we lost a little bit of our psychology. I want to see more selling for